Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another video with the Dukes in Motion. I want to welcome each and every one of my Dukes and Dames that are tuning in today. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. So thanks to each and every one of you that watched yesterday's video and looked at our new kind of format. Uh, we're going to be working in different studios over the next few weeks but it's all going to work out in some way or another. So today I'm going to be talking about Halo Infinite. Oh, but Simon, the Halo Infinite trailer came out weeks ago. Yes, I know, random person, but I have been traveling around Asia for the past five weeks, and now I finally got time to settle down and make a video with my thoughts and opinions on Halo Infinite. And these opinions are coming from a diehard Halo fan. I have been playing this game since the dawn of time itself. I ran a video game convention about Halo in England for four years, so, uh, you know, I, this means a lot to me, this trail. This means a lot for the future of Halo and what we're going to see coming soon. So I'm going to divide this video into three simple sections. Expectations. What I was expecting to see at E3 this year. Probably the biggest section. Opinions. What I actually think of the trailer. And anticipation. What I think is going to happen to the Halo franchise now. What Halo Infinite will probably bring to the table. So let me tell you one thing, E3, the Xbox briefing at E3, is nothing without a bit of Halo. I mean, there's a lot of other good franchises, Gears of War I love, and I like the new Ori and the Blind Forest, but really, let's face it, the new Xbox briefing, it didn't really offer anything, there were no new title exclusives, there was, it was barely anything, and Halo is always a big, important section of the Xbox E3 briefing. And for the last two years, we haven't really seen any Halo. Two years ago, at the very end of the Xbox briefing, we got a trailer for Halo Wars 2, which is a wonderful game, but it's not the mainline franchise, you know, not the main story, it's not what people desperately want to see. And then this, the last year, we got nothing! No Halo at E3 2017, are you kidding me? You gotta have Halo at E3, that's the... Uh, Halo makes the Xbox E3, but fight me on it. So let me tell you, every single E3 I will always watch live with some of my Xbox friends. When I watched the trailer for Halo 4 live at E3 with Thomas Fishenden, Thomas Bradford, Joe Seaton, Simon Kent, that was an event. When we saw Halo 4 for the first time, that was an event. Exceptional trailer. And with the last couple of years being very quiet with Halo and the fan base being quite divided, we really needed a good trailer at E3 this year to break that mold, to get people excited again. And I think it did do that. So let's just say my expectations were quite high for E3 2018. I did really want to see some Halo and really get that bandwagon, uh, that, that train, the hype train back on the rails. So um, let's go straight on to the second section of this. Opinions! Now the trailer itself was at the very beginning of the E3 conference. It started the whole Xbox uh, event. The opening was an ambient cave with dripping water and some lightning outside and there was a, a big hole that stretched up into the the roof of this cave it actually reminded me a lot about the the gate to requiem like a big bright white light then you got a mountain range beautifully lit up by some floodlights searching it actually this was the first time when i saw this trailer i saw the floodlights i was like hmm that kind of looks like a phantom floodlight. Then you get onto the wacky stuff. There's some deers drinking water, which honestly reminds me a lot of Ori and the Blind Forest. And then they look up as the thunder's happening. You hear the thunderstorm all the time, so I was kind of thinking maybe the thunder is some kind of actual crashing. You see a pelican crash later. Maybe, maybe the pelican crashing makes that thunderstorm sound. Probably not, but speculation. Then you got a walkie-talkie, and that's when the big boots are going past. It's actually, you know, this is kind of like Halo 3's chief, but that those boots walking forward sounded like every cutscene from Halo 4 or 5. Then you've got the rhinos, and then they look up, and then it's the Lion King! This is a call of life. Yeah. But yeah, you see those animals, and I'm all for it. Like, in the original Halo games, those ostriches in Halo Reach, I would chase the shit out of those. I, I, any animal that you could interact with in the Halo games, I was all about. Then you had the moment where I actually realized it was a Halo trailer with the crushed pelican. That was quite, to me, quite obviously Halo. Uh, not completely obvious, but yeah, it was, it was along those lines. And then you see the insides of the rings, uh, and the marines walking along, and you're like, okay. Yeah, that's that's a Halo game. Then the the shot goes out, beautiful mountains, and BAM! It's the Halo 3 helmet. I mean, 
I, it, that just makes me so happy. The, the Halo 3 helmet returning is just so wonderful to me. That's, that's all I would want from the Halo franchise. I love the art design from Halo 4 and 5. I think it's fantastic. I, I, I really like the Chief. But you gotta give me some of my boy here. And what, what, what I love the most about this is the piano keys. The you know, suddenly you realize it's it's one final effort, it's Halo 3 all over again, then the Wargs driving through, rises up to the mountains, big Halo Infinite, and it's just the Martin O'Donnell Halo 3 soundtrack that's playing is just... The return of Halo 3 art design, Halo 3 soundtrack design, it's only good things. The Halo 4 soundtrack had some wonderful tracks in it. 117 is my ultimate favorite Halo soundtrack of all. But Halo 5's retake on old Halo tracks was much appreciated. And you know, you've got, you've got that, you've, you've also got the kind of thing, the idea that it's playing one final effort or like Halo 3 music and it's also the third game in the franchise, the same as Halo 3, so maybe they're gonna try and play some parallel on that. And one of the things I like the most about this trailer is it keeps in tradition of Halo trailers, not revealing that it's actually a Halo trailer until later on. Uh, they've done this with the Halo 4 teaser and Halo 5 teaser, but you didn't even know it was the Chief to begin with. I remember watching, again, watching the Halo 4 trailer with my boys, and I, I just uh, start to hear in the background, it's like the, the blood and the vessels going through, then you start to hear the word John, and you're like, did, not, did that girl just say John? Is it? Is this a Halo game? Halo 5's teaser, man walking through the desert, you see he's got an AI chip, you see Chief's hand, you're like, wait, is this a Halo game? And that's what I've always just loved, and Halo Infinite uh, really keeps on board with that. You don't know it's the Chief until the very end of the trailer, uh, and I just think that's fantastic. But really all I can say from the, the trailer is I'm very, very impressed. I am not surprised that there's no release date. I knew there really wouldn't be. And I saw people are angry about that, but no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna release it like that. Halo, Halo 5's teaser, they didn't release a release date. I think they did for Halo 4, maybe, I don't know. I like the idea of wildlife. I like the idea of attention to detail on the graphics. I like the idea of Halo 3's art style returning, maybe the music. Everything looks like it's going in the right direction. So let's talk about our final one, ANTICIPATION! So I'm going to close this off with what I think is the future of the Halo franchise right now, and it's really quite hard to say. Halo Infinite could be taken in a lot of different directions. I mean, they've confirmed that it's Halo 6, or at least it takes place after Halo 5. And what they're going to do with it, I don't really know. You see a lot of ideas of uh, a crashed pelican. The Marines are clearly injured and have an SOS, and the Chief is there as well. You see in the after credits of Halo 5 that Cortana has control of a Halo again, possibly. So maybe I, I would certainly like to see Chief's team going head-on towards that Halo to try and stop Cortana. The, the Pelican crashing, and then them having to do some kind of open-world survival to get to the base of the Halo to shut it down. That could be pretty interesting. But I really just hope that Halo 6 is taken in a serious way of concluding this trilogy. It is meant to be the Reclaimer trilogy and they are meant to bring it to a conclusion. So uh, I really hope they do that in some kind of fulfilling way. Uh, but really, I got I got a lot of high expectations for the series. Uh, Halo Infinite has, has, has re-kicked into gear my, my love and appreciation for Halo. I've definitely not played Halo 5 in a while, but I have been playing it since that trailer. And I hope it, I hope it gets everybody else back on the Halo train, because the Halo train is the only train to be on. I'm a little bit biased. But, but the, Halo, the Halo trains, the, the fans for Halo, have always been the best. You you can't argue that Halo 1 to 3 and Reach had the best fan base pretty much in video gaming for a while there. Um, and it slipped a little bit, but you just need 343 to kick it back into old Halo art style, uh, a nice clean story with just Master Chief uh, as the playable character. And you'll see the Halo franchise in a rebirth, a new reclamation of, of Halo video gaming. I want to close this off by asking you what is your favorite part of the trailer? What are your expectations for the future? What do you think the, the Halo franchise is going to do next? And please do let me know if you enjoyed this video, this kind of content, this kind of format. I certainly enjoyed recording it myself, giving my opinions on Halo, and lots of wonderful things are to come. We're moving to a new country in six weeks, and everything's going to kick off. The Duke's in motion is going to be our only sole income and priority. Uh, we're just going to see if we can make it work. So please support us and give us some love and, love and attention. Thanks to all the Dukes and Dames watching today. This was another video with the Dukes in Motion. And my boy Chief is signing off. Jesus.